Okay, so day 30 got off to a much better start uh, than day 29 did, thank God. Uh, Enterprise came and picked me up in my hotel, took me to their shop, and I got uh, a free upgrade. So I got a Nissan Frontier, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so yeah, the car is, my car is in the shop. We'll see how long it takes to fix. Hopefully, uh, you know, not more than a week. Um, but uh, I really don't know what the damage is. So we have to figure that out and play it by year. I might have to, you know, keep going to Pacific Northwest as the plan said, and then uh, come back to Kalispell to pick it up. Who knows? After leaving Enterprise, I drove a few miles farther on into Columbia Falls. Uh, went to this uh, was it Montana Coffee Trader, Coffee Trading Company, something like that. Uh, anyway, they have a few locations around the area on that west part of Glacier, and uh, I heard great things about them in, in Lonely Planet. So I stopped there, got myself a cup of coffee, hung out for a while. Uh Uh, then I learned that it was Heritage Days, well, one of the Heritage Days in uh, Columbia Falls, which I guess is this annual tradition where uh, like people come back that have left and they have a, a big parade, a rodeo, and some stuff like that. So the parade was at noon. I had gotten there at like 9.30 and I found out about it at like 10.30. And I was like, oh, what the hell? I'll stay for the parade. Uh, and so I did, and then I got some food there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the parade was hilarious. It was just like... Small town America in its, its greatest form. Uh, you know, they had like old cool cars. They had a bunch of girls on horses, like dressed up as cowgirls, um, and uh, a bunch of other stuff like that. Um, so that was awesome. Uh, this thing uh, I don't know like a like a half hour or so later that was like the running of the horses I don't know it was kind of odd um, but it's just a bunch of people riding horses down like the main like not even a street like a highway um, that they had shut off um, so kind of funny uh, but it lasted two seconds Yeah, and then after that, um, packed up my stuff, headed into the park, um, did a quick hike. So I, I went up um, going to the Sun Highway um, that took me, I went past Logan's Pass and then did, uh, I think the name of the hike was Pygen Pass, something like that.
Anyway, uh, yeah, hit that. I didn't, I didn't stay at it too long. I did like six and a half miles. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, um, cause I had to get down to Missoula tonight and I'd already spent a bunch of time in Columbia Falls. So, uh, wrapped that up and drove back along, uh, the going to the Sun Highway. Um, and now I'm headed down to Missoula. Uh, I'll be back in Glacier one more time. My mom flies into Kalispell, um, not tomorrow, but the next day. Um, we'll go to a couple hikes before we head out. Um, but I've been trying to think of like the appropriate analogy for what Glacier is like and I just can't. I, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's it's the coolest park I've been to. Uh, I used to say the Grand Tetons was my favorite. That was before I got to Glacier. Uh, yeah, I wish I would have gotten you know, one more day of hiking in. Unfortunately, that didn't happen because of the accident, but uh, it's what it is. I'll probably come back at some point in the future. Uh, and I think the town's right outside. Whitefish and Columbia Falls are really nice. I would definitely recommend being on the west side. I think I said that before. Uh, but the west side's the much nicer side of the park. Um, 